All right, look at these matchups we've got here in this tournament. I, I got to take my hat off to my patrons who helped me come up with some of these uh, mortal enemies that we are going to put together to fight in this tournament. What do you think? Uh, I'm anxious to see how your girl Barris does. <laughs> I'm like, know, uh, I'm already she, conflicted about that matchup because it's, I, it's my girl Snips and Barris. Um, how about R2 and Jawa though? <laughs> it's mortal enemies. That's, I'm just, that, that just brings back. Just can very funny can you do your best ja um, Jawa or R2 getting zapped by Jawa impersonation? Woo! <laughs> Oh man, all right, so you guys have asked, I've seen so many comments on pretty much every tournament video to, to see a duos tournament, and I did a dynamic duos tournament um, a while ago with Arnold T101, and so uh, link above my head right now, go check that out. Uh, we had some issues with Arnold's audio in that one, but if you can push through that, it was actually a pretty fun tournament, but I thought it'd be fun. Why don't we shake it up a bit, have a four fun tournament of mortal enemies in galaxy of heroes or just in the star wars universe so we've got our first match here and these are kind of loosely seated i'm not gonna we didn't vote on them or anything like that but we're starting with han and boba <laughs> boba fett um and um luke and wampa we're gonna do this on full auto so what i'll do here is hit auto and then i'll take the target lock off as soon as i can and there we go that's actually a pretty strong start for this pair here if, if they can off somebody with Boba Fett after he dies the first time, they might be okay. But look, this DPS is going to be too much for these guys. Oh. Yep. Oop. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Not. Yep. That was, that was pretty easy. Yeah. Han is good. Boba is good. But just CLS and, and Wampa are just going to be better. I think CLS and Wampa probably win this thing, to be totally real with you. I, I, don't, know. I don't know. I don't know who's going who's gonna to dish out more damage. All right. <laughs> this is probably my favorite match on the board. We got First Order Executioner with Rose. It's <laughs> mortal enemies. <laughs> and then Snips and Barris. I think, I don't know. First Order Executioner and Rose, all right, that's actually not a bad combo. Uh, First Order Executioner has plenty of DPS, and Rose is not that bad really i mean look at her she's leading no, off rose, right away rose is good the, the one thing with this is that with all the critical hits i don't know if if they're gonna get through zeta barris you know yeah we'll see that's a good point but it's pretty much just gonna be a matter of if they can out heal the crits while snips is dishing out the damage right because Barris isn't going to dish. I mean, look at that. 3,000 on a crit. <laughs> hey, Rose isn't much better. She just hit for, I think, 2,000, I saw. <laughs> they should literally change her lightsaber to a wet noodle. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah, this is over. Could First Order Execution and Rose pull this upset off? I Ooh, that stun was big. <laughs> but all these crits, like you said, First Order Execution, or the thing about him, though, is he crits for enough that I think he can offset it, and he has been doing that so far. Yeah, plus he's going to gain health himself. There's no <laughs> way. There's definitely no way that Barris wins. Rose is totally it's just a matter of if they can actually take her down. Rose is totally a handicap in this match. <laughs> if it was just for a sort of execution, I think he'd win the 1v1. But Rose is, like, ruining his progress. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, there we go. We need a big hit here. End the madness! Oh, well, and Fo Fox is going to keep on doing oh, There he goes. It's a big hit. Big money. Big money. My girl Rose. That was clearly yeah, Rose, Rose was, Tico. She was hitting very lightly. <laughs> All right. Now we've got R2 and Jawa, and they're going to go against Nihilus and Vesis. I really don't see this being close, but I just... I just think this R2 and Jawa combo is just hilarious to put together. <laughs> you know, Jawa hits hard. Yeah. I mean, I haven't used him since I was level 50, but back then he was he was a heavy hitter. So, but I mean, ooh, we got a stun. Eh. If they can get a stun train going, <laughs> maybe not. Here's the thing: um, even if these guys R2. had a chance, Nihilus is going to annihilate him. 
Yeah, unless they target... You got the target on. Yep, I just realized I do. I think I took it off. Which is probably a, an advantage for them, because if they don't target Nihilus, then... Oh, well. They, it's off kind of now. Early. I mean, I don't, now. I don't think they're going to win anymore anyway, but... <laughs> So I don't know. I, I mean, I I played Kotor. It's been a long time. Are are Visus and Nihilus mortal enemies? I know Visus had to. Her, one of her final tests was confronting Nihilus, if I recall. Yeah, she she confronts him. Um, has a battle. I haven't played Kotor in, in so long since I was I think. I don't know if I was ten or eleven. Oh yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> a, a while ago. Time. Well, they're moving and on. Good for them. Neato gang. I like seeing Fulcrum and Vader together, especially because, in my opinion, one of the most epic Star Wars battles ever. Spoiler alert was between Crew and Darth Vader, or um, Crew and Darth Vader, uh, Darth Vader and Fulcrum in Rebels. Oh yeah. Have you seen sure. that? Yeah, that that scene is just all the feels. If you haven't watched the show, oh. and if you don't like the show. You need to look up that battle, at least that. At le yeah, it's on YouTube. You can watch the whole battle. Um, I actually haven't seen all of Rebels, and that's where I saw it myself, just because I couldn't wait. And, wow, they got demolished by these two. Crew and Ray Jedi Training, think... both great 1v1 characters. They could take it all. They could. They could. I, I think you could probably even with either of their leads, too, because Crew and, and our, you know, JTR both have good leads. All right, this is where the rubber hits the road. We have got the second round crew and Ray Jedi training and Nihilus and Visus. And I think crew and RJT probably got this. But, I mean, if they're not able to manage Nihilus as Annihilate, he could sneak up on them. Yeah, Nihilus, is, he's just a ticking time bomb in these. And so he's at a little bit of a disadvantage with only two people. I mean, he's going to have to, even if he gets both... You know, he's only going to get one, it looks like. Cooldown increase there. Yeah. So it's going to take him a while to get to an Annihilate. And I think that RJT is going to... I think they're going to chip through Visus and, and Nihilus probably before he can get to it. So We'll see. Okay, he got we'll another cooldown decreased. If he can keep his health up... Ooh, he's going to lose Visus though. And she's got the health block on her. Ooh, but you know what? Visus can revive. Oh, she wasted it. She wasted it. But she was probably going to die first anyway. Oh, there we go. All right, now if Nihilus can just survive long enough to get an Annihilate off. Oh, no. Oh, but there's the health block. Term meter reduction. Done. Ooh. Yeah, that was decisive. Nihilus just couldn't get one off, you know? <laughs> you know what? In the last one, we had Arnold talking about CLS penetrating uh, Bastila, and now you're talking about Nihilus getting one off. I think we're going to have to classify this as an R-rated show. <laughs> That poor man. <laughs> that poor man. Get one <laughs> <laughs> All right, in this match, I mean, look at it. I do you really give Executioner and Rose a fighting chance in this. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna win. Hey, okay, win. how about this? Let's take a bet right now. How long until? Luke and Wamp are able to dispose of them. I'm going to give it less than 30 seconds. Let's see. Let, let, let's start it at 59 and 25 seconds. So six seconds from now. I'm going to say it's going to take them 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Okay. Until 05. There we go. We'll take that target lock off. I don't know if it came off yet. Yep, it's off. All right. You've got until five seconds. Ooh, they're taking yeah, longer. Ooh. Oh. 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 Wow. It was, uh, was, hey, it was less than 30 off. seconds. It was less than 30 seconds. I was 30 seconds off. Luke and Wampa advance. Okay. Now, this is where it really gets interesting because our championship match is Luke and Wampa and Crew and Ray Jedi training. That's actually a really dang good match, in my opinion. Who do you think will have that? Oh, yeah. I honestly have no idea. I think JTR and and crew. I think I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with them, but I would not be surprised if CLS and, and Wampa win because they both just got. I mean, there's gonna be days. There's gonna yeah. be term meter reduction. There's gonna be you know protection up. There's, I mean, CLS is gonna heal himself plus protection. 
and turn meter on on resists and whatnot so th there's lots of good things on both sides i think going on here's why i think it actually might be luke and wampa is both both sides have some pretty decent survivability right crew and ray jedi training both have pretty good survivability luke and wampa also have that wampa has the protection up luke has call to action what offsets it in my opinion at a glance is the dps factor because ray does have decent dps crew doesn't have the best dps it's okay but wampa and cls i mean they're dps powerhouses so i'm giving the edge to luke and wampa in this one actually let's see if the jedi wannabe and the sith wannabe can take on the yeti and the uh jedi in training uh commander luke skywalker all right decent start for them They've got us. Ooh, they've got a stun over on CLS. That will help. Wampa hitting through the foresight will help a lot. <laughs> this is ooh. really close. Because I think I think this is gonna be CLS and Wampa. Look at this. Uh oh, that stun hurts. Ooh, can they oh, get through crew? Go down. Get him! Oh, the dodge. CLS, you could have hit crew. He was right there, wide open. But look at this. Look at CLS and Wampa. They are. Definitely surviving this match better. Oh, I think CLS and Wampa got this. Yep, I think they do. I think you're right. And no. call to action. Boom. No. Boom. CLS and Wampa. Well. Now, be, don't go too far, ladies and gentlemen, because I do want to try this as well with Crew in the leadership spot. That protection regain he gets from his leader ability may may tilt the, the scales a bit. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, that, that might be a factor. Okay, let's see if that's, that's a factor. A I know, plus more than anything, I know if we didn't test that factor out, I know I'd have about 3,000 comments asking oh, yeah. to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so so we will show both angles of it. I still think CLS and Wampa have this based on what I just saw. But we'll, we'll take the auto. Let's see, where's the target lock? Let's take it off. Let's just see if the OG trilogy is better than the new trilogy, right? OG trilogy. Yeah, this is, this, is what, this is the main deciding factor, isn't it? We'll have to ship this off to George Lucas at the end of the battle. Yeah. So, yeah, crew definitely is more survivable. Um, that is definitely contributing to this match. I don't know if GTR it's going to be enough. survivability on her unique, too. So, I think it adds survivability to them. Ooh. Oh. Still not enough, though, apparently. Not oh, enough. Man. Done. All right. There you have it. Luke and CLS, the duo's champion for the Mortal Enemies Duos Tournament. I CLS think we should see later on, we should have a follow-up video on this and see if there's any other duos in the game that could beat CLS and Wampa. I feel like Ray Jedi Training and Crew would be high on my list of speculations that could. Maybe maybe some kind of triumvirate combo, maybe uh, Treya and uh, Nihilus or, or Nihilus and Scion could do it. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's uh, it, it comes down to individual tune abilities combined with a good leader ability when these these small matchups. And so, you know, like Fo Fox and, and Rose are never going to make it because there's no leader ability. I think that's kind of a baseline is having a good lead and probably a Zadon. Well, it, and so, look, Fox and Rose weren't going to make it just because of the leader ability. They're just there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but the, the principle holds. You know, I mean, even even tunes like uh, like Scion, you know, if you just did Scion, yeah, against you know so and so, it's he doesn't have a lead, so he's kind of at a disadvantage. Whereas even you know like a mid level tune would benefit from a leader ability, you know, even like a Mace Windu sure. or something, you know. <laughs> All right, my friends, thanks for joining us for the tournament. What are your thoughts of the tournament, and what other tournaments do you want to see? I don't know about you, Senate, but I. Tournaments are one of my favorite things to do, and so I'm always happy to have more ideas. This one, this one was less scientific than usual. I think it was just kind of off the wall for fun. But man, CLS and Wampa, they really dominated. Oh yeah, that was. I mean, R2 and Jawa, you know, they, they weren't <laughs> they were really ever gonna make it. Come on, R2. Embarrass. You know, there's oh. certain matchups, but I, I think the idea, the idea is good, and it, it, we just kind of did. You know, this is just what eight. You know, eight squads that we matched up, eight duos, and I think there's right. plenty more we could we could have done. You know, maybe Palpatine and Yoda or something. We I owe you more. We could be a good team. We owe you more. So I think I think we'll have another one coming in the future. Let's do it. 
All right, my friends, thanks so much for joining us for the video. If you liked the video, thumbs up, share with your friends, share with your guild mates, and as always, my brothers, don't forget. My dead body. Sorry about the mess.